Hey guys, James saying. So today's video is answering the question, can you use the Sigma Art 18 to 35 on the Canon EOS R5? And the answer is yes. Now this Sigma Art 18 to 35, it's an APS-C, it's made for APS-C cameras, not to be used in full frame. However, if you update your software on the lens, and I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick demonstration on how to do that. I'll leave links in the description below about you have to get the Sigma Optimization Pro, the latest software for updating when you download the latest software using optimization Sigma Optimization Pro to get the latest software onto this lens. Now, hopefully, if you bought your lens new, it comes with a USB docking station and cable. If you bought it used from somebody, hopefully they included. I did run into a minor problem, but I'll show you how I overcame that. This is a quick video on the Canon um, the Sigma Art 18 to 35. I'm trying to update the firmware, uh, and I, I kept running into this problem. So, because my computer sits behind my desk on the floor... I have these USB extensions and I kept plugging in. Let's go to my settings. Well, so first of all, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this in through a USB extension. Because I don't you know, this this is the way my, my monitors plug in. Uh, so many things when I when I connect my GoPros, when I um, anyway, I just connect a lot. I've never had a problem before. So it makes the noise. I've connected my, my Sigma Art 18 to 35 lens. And so I'll open up the Sigma Optimization. I'll leave a link where you can download for the Sigma Optimization. And now we get this. Nothing. Connect the product. It is connected. And, and I'm embarrassed to say it took me like 15 minutes to figure this out. So I just need to plug directly into my computer, not through a USB extension. All right, so I won't film this, but I'm just going to plug, plug the USB directly into the computer. Okay, so now, ah, voila, I have success. So now it's checking to see. Well, I've never updated the firmware for, except for the, well, I don't even think the day I got the lens I did that. So do I want to update? Yes. This is in anticipation of putting an, uh, an RF adapter on an EOS R5, and where I can use the Sigma Art 18 and 35. So the question I have, can you use the Sigma Art 18 and 35 uh, on an EOS, EOS R5 mirrorless? And the answer is yes. It's supposed to be yes. I'll find out. All right. And so this is how you this is how you use the Sigma uh, dock to update the firmware. Um, So this firmware update is in anticipation of using um, in anticipation using EF lenses on an RF camera. And so yes, the answer is I was a little concerned about getting the 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 R5 because I like this lens a lot. I want to use this. Um, and other people were posting about um, when you're on 18 millimeters, 20 millimeters. You had the circular video with nothing on the edges, and then if you even up on 35, you had vignetting at the corners. I don't notice, so I have a usable range, 18 to 35, usable video, and I don't have any significant vignetting on my videos. So I only used, I used the Canon, uh, the drop-in uh, adapter. You know, on second thought, now that I have this, because I already have neutral density filters that go in the front of my Sigma lens, um, this says, I can't find a document anywhere, but it's about a 10 stop, a nine or a 10 stop, uh, drop in filter. And yes, if you take the, if you take the filter out, you have to, you have this big old gap. You have to drop in a clear filter, which is expensive, a couple hundred bucks, which is crazy. So if you take out the neutral density filter, you're left with this giant gap that it just collect dirt and dust. So I wish I would have bought the, um, the adapter with the control ring, but none were available. So I got this one. Um, and it's about 10 stops. I can't find that document anywhere. My personal experience, this uh, adjust, it is an adjustable neutral density filter. It's about 10 stops. 
Um, so once you update the software on your Sigma Art 18 to 35, you can use it with the Canon EOS R5. Now, there are some limitations when using it. You can't film in HQ. You can't form in 8K. You can't film in 4K HQ. You can film in 4K, um, but you can't film in, if you wanted to do 4K uh, HQ or if you wanted to do 8K, you can't use this lens. You need to use an RF lens. So that is one drawback to be aware of. And so the really nice thing about how smart the communication is with the camera when you when you connect when you connect an RF uh, lens to the camera you, it shows which lens that you have connected um, it shows that you have a crop factor that you can in, uh, enable or disable um, I mean there might be a reason that you want to enable it using an RF lens I haven't run into that yet so I don't I don't but when you put the Sigma Art 18 to 35, then the the Canon EOS R5 it recognizes that you're using this particular lens and it shows that the crop factor is enabled. So uh, it solves the problem of um, problematic video using this on the R5. You don't lose any video. You don't get that circle. Um, like you're using a wide angle lens back in the old, old days, like a fish, a fish eye lens. Um, so fortunately the answer is yes, you can use the Sigma Art 18 to 35 with the Canon EOS R5. All right, guys, thanks so much. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. It would help my channel. And if you found the information helpful or useful, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.